Oh, it's a big small mouth. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, we got our first fish, 15 and a half incher. Let's go get some more. All right, let's, we're gonna let this one go. Yes. What is going on, Wild Urban Adventures? Today we are here out in Big Green Lake, Wisconsin. We are here doing a tournament trying to catch the big bass out of this lake and I'm here with the Midwest Kayak Bass Club based out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's actually one of the clubs that my brother is a director of so I was in town visiting them and decided to do one of these tournaments with them. This was a one of two day tournament either do it on Saturday or Sunday and today is Sunday and hopefully we'll kick butt today so far I landed 115 and a half inch largemouth right underneath the docks with the wacky worm and I'm going for number two right now just kind of casting into this little, this little area over here I saw a lot of fish jumping over here possibly carps but you never know there could be a big 20, 20 pounder there could be a big 20 pounder smallmouth right here you never know well, the, the funniest thing I saw this morning is when I launched, I actually saw a beautiful koi. It was so beautiful. It was black. It was a white goat or a white koi with a black pattern on it. I was kind of like, wow, that's an interesting looking bass. But, but then as I got up closer to it, it was actually a koi. It was at least a 14 to 16 inch koi out of this lake. I was like, wow. People are illegally dumping coins into this beautiful lake. So, anyways, a little bit about this lake. For those that don't know, this lake is uh, it's pretty deep, up to I know it's over 150 feet deep. I don't know what the deepest part is, but there's lake trout in here. We actually caught a rainbow trout on here once too, a long, long time ago. And there's muskies, pikes. Large mouth, small mouth. It's actually a real good population of small mouth in this lake, I heard. So I'm looking forward to hooking up into one of those. Small mouths are always fun to catch on the rock because they do not give up at all. They fight and fight. Not like large mouth whereas you catch one, they fight for a little bit and then and then they get real lazy. Oh. So we can skip this one. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm getting this one back. It looks like it's up there pretty good. All right, guys, this is, I'm gonna show you how I do my leaders. I'm using 10 pound Power Pro. And then I'm using a six pound Seaguar fluorocarbon leader, 15 feet at least. My wingspan is right around five feet or so. I'm a pretty short guy, so I just pull out lines, three wingspan links. And then I just tie it on with a triple surgeon's knot. I think it's a pretty good knot. Easy to tie. Just like that. And just pull it through. Whip my line. Pull it tight. There we go. Now 
just take my scissors, cut off the tag ends as close as I can without compromising the knot. Set the sole. And it is beautiful. Give it a nice tug, make sure it's on it tight. Oh yeah, she's tight. Hey, get your minds out of the gun, guys. I'm gonna wind up some of my line so I don't have like 20 feet of line sticking out. Now I can put my hook on. I think I'm gonna stick with the wacky rig, so. Let's go ahead and get my hooks out. Yeah. Yeah, don't buy my socks. <laughs> it was a little chilly this morning and I actually got my socks wet too, so I defeated the purpose of staying warm. But anyways, I'm using a good old one odd mosquito hook from Owner. These are my favorite hooks. These are sharp, just like the Gamakatsu. Those are really nice hooks too. But these are a little cheaper, if you can find them that is. I know Cabela's used to cure them until Bass Pro bought them out or whatever. And then I just stopped seeing them. Once in a while I'll see them at Walmart. And every time I see them at Walmart, I'll pick them up. These are really good hooks. I use these for fly tying too, for my bass lures. I'm just doing an improved cinch knot. I think that's what it's called. Guys, I don't know my knots. I don't know the name of the knots. I just tie them. And I know they're good. Let me reach my yum, big, yum dingers. This one I'm using the Yum Ford Dinger Mardi Gras. Oh, last one. Oh, just throw it away. No, just kidding. You guys, again, do not litter. I'm um, being a big jokester today. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm getting more comfortable fishing out of this kayak. Kobe kayak. There we go. Just put it right through there. Yeah, good enough. I kind of like it tilted, but uh, let's make it more horizontal. Swing it over a little bit. There you go. We're ready to go catch some more fish. Or see, you see the seagull over there? And we'll go catch a bird. I'm not an expert. That was another bluegill. Those bluegills. That's what I like about these rods too. This is a Phoenix FTX series. This is the feather, the feather light. Seven feet, I think. Oh, not seven feet, but seven. Yeah, seven foot long. Seven point one. It's a real nice, sensitive rod. I like it. I think we got a smallmouth, boys. Oh, yeah. That one. Oh, yeah. We got something nice here. Just gonna drag first. Oh, it's a big smallmouth. Oh. That was a nice smallmouth. Woo. This is what I like about smallmouths right here. Oh yeah. Now I know it's hooked. Just gonna drag a little bit. Whoa! This is what I love about smallmouth, guys. Hey, look at this guy. Does not want to come up. As soon as he saw my saw my kayak. Man, it did not want to... does not want to come back in. Let's tie this bad boy up. I think this one's going to run at least 18 or so. Looks kind of big. I saw him splash, so I was like, oh, let's get over there real quick. Cast it in, and as soon as I cast it in, BAM! I thought it was 
throw beans and then it started moving. I was like, hell yeah. Come on, big guy. Oh, there's a nice small mouth. They're all nice small mouth. Oh, wow. I haven't caught a small mouth like this since Canada. Oh yeah. Come on, big boy. Come here, big boy. Yes. Oh my God, we got it in. Whoa, look at this, guys. Ho, ho, ho. That is a nice small mouth. Oh my God. Let's get the hook out first. I got short fingers. <laughs> wow, guys, this is nice. Nice, nice. Wow, guys, look at this. Man, look at that small mouth. It's been caught before. It's got a big old hole underneath him. Looks like someone had him on the stringer and decided to release him or something. Yeah, let's get the measuring board and everything ready first, and then uh, let's get this guy measured. All right, guys, I just want to show you what I just caught. Caught a nice 18 and a half inch smallie right here. Damn, that's a nice smallie, guys. Beautiful. Looks like it's been caught before, it's got a big hole, big old hole underneath his mouth too. Looks like it was on a string before, so yeah, let's get this guy back in the water. Let him go. Alright, he put up a real nice fight too. Also caught him on the wacky rig. Let's go catch another one guys. Let's go. All right, we just got another one, guys. Probably 14 incher, 13, 14. Yeah, a little smaller guy, but since we only got three so far, we'll measure this guy. Get this one on the board. <laughs> a little cool inch. Twelve and a half. Oh. What did we get right here?
Alright, 13 inch pass. Let's let it go. Little guy, little guy.